Grab your binoculars and field journal. The expedition begins now. Eco Explorers is your mission to decode the mysteries of the animal kingdom. From the intricate world teeming beneath a fallen log, to the complex habitats curated within a modern zoo. We are not mere spectators on this journey, but active investigators. Lions spend up to 20 hours a day resting or sleeping. They're most active at night, nocturnal, when it's cooler for hunting. Lion cubs are born blind and helpless, with faint spots that fade as they grow. Lions live mostly in Africa, in savannas, grasslands, and open woodlands. Ducks are aquatic birds that live near ponds, lakes, rivers, and marshes. They belong to the Anatidae family, which also includes geese and swans. Ducks have a special oil gland near their tails. This keeps them dry and warm, even when swimming all day. Ducks are omnivores, meaning they eat both plants and small animals. Elephants are the largest land animals on Earth. African elephants are the biggest, while Asian elephants have smaller ears and rounder heads. Elephants live in savannas, forests, deserts, and swamps across Africa and Asia. Elephants are very strong. They can carry loads over 600 pounds, 270 kilograms, with their trunks. Honeybees are social insects that live together in large colonies. Honeybees are found all over the world, except in Antarctica. Honeybees also make beeswax used for candles, lip balm, and skin care. Honeybees are considered the world's most important pollinators. Bees fan their wings to evaporate water from nectar Ladybug is not a true bug, but is actually a type of small, round beetle. Their correct scientific family is Coccinellidae. Ladybug are not just for show, they are a warning to potential predators, like birds. Ladybugs are considered a gardener's best friend because they are voracious predators of plant-eating pests. Cats are born hunters with sharp claws, quick reflexes, and excellent night vision. Even well-fed pet cats still love to chase toys, bugs, or shadows. It's in their nature. Cats can see in light six times dimmer than humans can. Their eyes have a special layer called the tuppetum lucidum. Ants are social insects that live in large, highly organized colonies, which can contain millions of individuals. Ants don't have ears. Instead, they listen by feeling vibrations in the ground through their feet. Ants are incredibly strong for their size. They can carry objects 10 to 50 times their own body weight. Rhinos have been on Earth for over 50 million years. Some of their extinct ancestors were woolly and lived during the Ice Age, and one species. Rhino horn is illegally trafficked for use in traditional medicine, despite having no proven medicinal value, and for ornamental dagger handles. Rhino beetle is a type of large, herbivorous insect 
belonging to the scarab family. Rhino beetles are considered one of the strongest animals on Earth relative to their size. They are capable of lifting objects up to 850 times their own body weight. Zebras belong to the horse family, Equidae. They're close relatives of horses and donkeys. Zebras can run up to 65 kilometers per hour, 40 miles per hour, to escape predators. Zebras eat mostly grass but also leaves, herbs, and bark when grass is scarce. Zebras live in groups called herds or harems. Golden ground beetle, Carabus erratus. A large, predatory beetle, native to Europe. It has beautiful, iridescent gold-green elytra, but is a fierce hunter of other insects, slugs, and worms on the ground. Golden beetles are a diverse group united by their breathtaking physics-based coloration, which serves as one of the most brilliant examples of nature's artistry. Frilled neck lizard is famous for its large, colorful frill around its neck that it spreads out when scared or showing off. Frilled neck lizard became famous worldwide after appearing on Australia's two cent coin and in the movie Jurassic Park. Frilled neck lizards are excellent climbers. adaptation and intelligence that define life in the wild and under professional care. Our exploration operates on two thrilling fronts. First, we shrink down to the micro wilderness, where a simple garden transforms into a sprawling jungle. 